coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight division fight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, so here's the UFC champion, Henry Cejudo, took Olympic gold in Beijing back in 2008. This man is a winner in every sense of the word. He's an absolute winner, and he did win in 2008, but I say go back to 2007. When we walked into the world championship in Azerbaijan, Henry Cejudo was 34 of 35 guys in the weight class. Fast forward a year ahead, Amazing. he's the Olympic champion. But then that applies to Demetrius Johnson. He got beat by DJ the first time, knocked out in one round. Fast forward three years, he beats him by decision and becomes a UFC champion. Henry Cejudo is just a winner. And in a lot of respects, just getting started. We'll see how it goes for the messenger here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. We go inside the octagon. Here's the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Aurora, Colorado, Corey Sanhagen! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, Henry, the messenger, Zahudo! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch balls is not a was not regulated in New York. When that legislation came down, the UFC came strong, and we've been omnipresent ever since. John, we kicked the door in. Yes. If you're gonna open, if you're gonna say you're welcome in MSG, the UFC is coming. And every time we have gone there, we have brought phenomenal fight cards and some of the biggest moments in UFC history. Now, if the Knicks could just get their act together. The Knicks will never get their act together, and I'm okay with it. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. 
This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was gonna attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Cejudo's got the full mount. this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound. Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, damage done, bleeding from his cheek now. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's gotta grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Cejudo. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Well, he's got his back now. Cejudo's right back to the full mouth. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Lands the ground and pound strike here. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. See the hook, watch out. Oh, with the ground and pound strike. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Oh, man, that cut not in a good place, and it's not getting any better. Five minutes in the books. High-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round.
You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Oh, you're So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish the fight. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Nice punch in there. Gets the single collar tie. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, straight right. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. It got defended, but it will give Henry the idea that takedown may be coming. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Cejudo. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Come on, let him go. Just out of range with that left hook. He's back in the position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Trying to recover full guard there. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Sauce reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Thirty seconds to go in this one. Continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Nice 
Street Punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Big shot, man. A single collar tie. Left hand punch with the clinch. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Big body kick lands. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Nice punch you get over the top. Oh, single collar tie here. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big kick land. Oh, nice. Nice. Stuff the takedown, no problem. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Left hand punch from the clinch. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Good punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Elbows. Nice. Keep moving. And then take shot. Now, take shot. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Wow. Actually got the takedown. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. Under two minutes to go. Uh, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Cejudo. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Lands the ground and pound strike. Keep moving. Push the pace. Push the pace. Under a minute to go. Oh, the 
cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage is going on in the corner will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Composure. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, nice punch there by Sahuda. All right, single collar tie now. Huge block there. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. He's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Cejudo. What a punch. The Olympic gold medalist Cejudo gets in the clinch yet again. Let's see if he can get the offense going here. Oh, that right eye's looking really swollen now. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And now he's got that tight reach. Nice kick. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Trying to stay in this fight. Big punch to the body. Big knee to the body. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Punch over the top. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. Oh. He didn't like that left hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Switching stances here. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Cejudo. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Under two minutes to go in the round. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Close guard now. 
You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. I mean, that right hand landed square. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. High level guard pass there as he moves into half guard. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop him. He is tremendous at passing the guard. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Don't stay flat on your back. Get on your heads. Let's go. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Thirty seconds to go on the wrap. All right, twenty seconds to go in the wrap. Ten seconds to go in round four. for the end of round four. Hey, Your opponent outstruck that last round. We need to be smarter. Technically, you're a better striker than he is. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? You ready? So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. the punch nicely there. Takedown defense holds up. Big knee lands to the body. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up for the big knee to the head. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Straight punch lands. Oh, man, that eye looks so swollen now. You've got to wonder whether or not that might be a fractured orbital. There's the leg kick. That one checked by the ever-improved Henry Cejudo. Changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. There you go, look for the shot. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, collar tie. That one snuck in. Nice strike. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock them out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision 
or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Cejudo gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. What a takedown. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. I mean, how many can he take? Under one minute remains in round five. Good work from the top here by Cejudo. He continues to evolve as a striker. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Able to land the single ground strike there. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. seconds left. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. What a fight! All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Henry the Messenger to who? get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight.